I remember what it was to be a worldly man without Christ. I remember the loneliness that ate at my soul. I remember the agony. I remember the absolute hopelessness that I had. I felt trapped. Not even understanding what trapped was, but I felt trapped and didn't know how to get out, but didn't know there was anything to get out to. I had no concept of it. Didn't know that there was any remedy for my situation. I was miserable inside. I was feeling hopeless inside. And so what I do, I gave myself over more and more to drugs to try and drown it out. And so what I was doing as a young man was clawing, was fighting, was striving, was warring to own, was warring to have purpose and significance, to have value in my life. I wanted to be loved but couldn't find it in my home because of my sinful home. It did not exist in there in a real way. And so you go in other ways looking for it, you go in other pursuits trying to find some value, some acceptance of individuals. The warring, the clawing, the fighting, the striving. How many of you remember the state of your heart apart from Christ and the pain and the sorrow of what it is? The tragedy is we begin to forget. We forget what we were. And when we forget what we were, we forget what they are right now. Every unsaved person on this planet I don't care where they are, whether they're rich or poor, whether they're seemingly in, in prosperity and, and popularity or whether they're in total obscurity. Every single person in one way or the other is warring, clawing, fighting, striving to have and obtain because every single person is aching to be loved, aching for purpose, aching for something of value. Paul was a perfect example of that. It's what he was doing, but yet in the midst of his religious political pursuit, he felt absolutely destitute absolutely barren, absolutely empty. Thinking he was doing God's service by persecuting the church, causing him greater agony and turmoil and pain inside his own heart, his own life. The warring to own, the warring to own.